Alrighty, folks, welcome to another episode of Making Dough Show, where we keep talking about making dough in the restaurant business. My name is Hingham, and my husband and I, we own six pizzerias here in San Antonio. And I want to tell you a story that, you know, last week, we were driving around San Antonio between locations and all the things, and we wanted to stop by for a breakfast date. So obviously, this is what I did. I pulled up my phone, looking at Google Maps, looking for breakfasts near me. And even, you know, as you know, as restaurant owners, this is how we find restaurants ourselves. Many times we go into Google map and we'll look at reviews. So this particular uh, restaurant, it was called First Watch that I've never heard of. And it has 4.4 review rating total, but it had 1500 reviews. I was like, you know what? That's legit. You know, it's if it's 4.4 and you have 1500 reviews, let's go check it out. And fair enough, we went to this restaurant spent about $45, the tips, um, including everything between the two of us. And it was a phenomenal experience as, as I was walking out and I was like, you know what, this is, we just dropped $45 at this place. And what did they do to acquire us as customers? And I realized, wait a minute, all it was is for these folks to have great reviews and a lot of reviews, of course, and they're able to get customers so like us driving across town in the neighborhood, doing a basic Google search. And here we are. They did not have to hand over to Zuckerberg much money. They didn't have to pay DoorDash ads. They didn't have to do any of those. So I was reminded again of what I already knew, but I had kind of put in a back burner. Google places matters you know, TripAdvisor rating or Yelp rating, they matter. The stupid reviews, they matter. And yes, we all get some random bad reviews every now and then. They do matter. They need to be addressed. We need to have a handle on our reviews because they are costing us customers, whether we realize it or not. And many of us spend money on different kinds of ads. It could be mailer, it could be Facebook ads, I don't know, Google, I mean, it could be any kinds of ads that we spend a lot of money. Google places is free. The basics still work as much as we look at shiny stuff. I'm looking at the figure on what are we going to do with this TikTok thing? The basics still work. So here's a question for you. When was the last time you updated your Google places by that? I mean, you posted pictures, not just your customers. Uh, posting all kinds of pictures that with and bad lighting and all the things, but you yourself as the owner, as a manager, uploaded pictures, latest pictures into your Google places listing. You can, of course, verify all the information that's listed. There is a menu tab that needs to be updated with the right prices. When was the last time you checked even there to see what's in there, right? Many of us, of course, have a rhythm of weekly responding to our reviews, of course, have we been intentional about making sure we get those reviews? What are some of the things we can do to get reviews? Especially we all have a lot of happy customers and we have to get them to go leave us at reviews because it does matter. So all I wanted to tell you, think about it. When was the last time you dig into your Google places? When was the last time you posted an update? Turns out you can post updates. You have specials and what have you, even if it's once a week, once every two weeks, it shows that the, Google places page is alive and active, and that is going to help your listing go up and it is free. Not a lot of things are free for us uh, in the business world. This one is free. So steward it. Well, this is your call to action to bring back your Google places, your trip advisor, your Yelp into your radar. Look at where you are as your rating is. How can you set a target to get more reviews and increase your rating and hopefully make some dough. Let me know your thoughts on this show. I would love to hear if you are on the YouTube zone, leave us a comment. If you're on the podcast, you can always leave us a review. I would love to know what is your Google places, Yelp, Trip, TripAdvisor, and all these other review sites as rhythm that you're making sure that all your reviews are being addressed. You are posting pictures and 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 these platforms as the owner of the platform and the profile would love to hear your your best practices how are you on top of it thank you for tuning into another episode of making dough show and with that let's get back to work and make some dough thank you bye-bye